When uploading documents into Cascade, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove any spaces or uppercase letters from your file name because when your file is loaded into Cascade, that file name is going to carry over when you upload it. So when, you're, when your file is prepped and you're ready to load it into Cascade, you will navigate to your documents folder. And when you hover over documents, you'll click the arrow that appears. This will select the folder. Go up to Add Content, William & Mary, if you're working within the William & Mary site, and File. Don't worry about a file name just yet because as soon as you select your file, the file name is automatically going to update. So we're going to scroll down to where you can drag and drop files or choose one from your computer. So I'm going to choose one that is saved to my desktop. It's a PDF. You can see that my file name was automatically updated to a file name that meets the requirements. It's all lowercase with no spaces, and it has the .pdf at the end. It's automatically going to go in the Documents folder because I selected it in my file tree. Display names are required. And even though titles are not required, it's a good practice to just go ahead and enter it because if someone were to link to this document from the related links section of their page, that's where the title would show up. And so um, it's important to enter some descriptive text here. Um, if you're just linking to this file within your main body text of your page, the title won't show up anywhere, but it's good to go ahead and enter something here. And then select Save and Preview. So you'll get a preview of your document here, and then click Submit, and check Content and Submit. It'll run a quick spell check. And now my document is in my Documents folder, and now I can go to my page and link to it with, um, as link text. I could also link to it as a related link. Now, if you had more than one document to load into your Documents folder, you would follow the same steps by selecting Documents and click the arrow, go to Add Content, William & Mary, File. Again, don't worry about the file name just yet. Select Choose, and I'm going to select two files. So there's one, and there's two. And you'll see as soon as I select more than one file, um, I set off the bulk file upload. So that's an automatic thing as soon as you select more than one file. So now that I have two loaded in, I can click Submit. And now I have two new files uploaded into my Documents folder. But one important note about the bulk file feature is that once you load your files in, you need to go back in and edit them and make sure you add a display name. 